You know, every player out there has something that separates themselves from everybody else, and that includes you. Bunch of crunch tell me where you at, your motivation got us right, I am back. And did you know that there are millions of Fortnite players around the world? You know, each of them has a different reason for playing the game, and today we're gonna be talking about, you know, the five of the most common player types out there. You guys ready for this? I know I am. Let's get this going. All right, so first up on our list of player types, we have a type of player that kind of leans towards the good side, but has also a pretty bad influence on the Fortnite community. The naturally good player is always the best one in the group, but it's also the one that seems to play the least and is somehow the best anyways. And so the naturally good player also doesn't seem to invest that much money into gaming, but will still manage to destroy everybody with an average gaming setup. These players are usually nice with their friends and will always carry them to victory without even getting mad. The naturally good player loves to troll around and really enjoy the game rather than just getting mad at anything that can happen while they're playing. So a great example of a naturally good player is NRG Ronaldo, a player who places on almost every event without that even being something that he's trying to do. Most of these like types of players have pretty decent levels of earnings and somehow place consistently without seeming to care too much at all. Unfortunately, this can affect their ego quite a bit and instantly really just turns them from, you know, the chill guy into an impulsive trash talker. So for the most part, guys, like these are the types of players that mostly, you know, mind their own business and, you know, blocks everybody else that tries to come after them. You know, if you think that you're this kind of a player, good job, but make sure that you stay in your lane and just really keep that ego under control. Stay hungry, you know what I mean? So you can keep going to the next level. All right, guys, so the next type of player that we're going to discuss today is the try hard, also known as the wannabe. The tryhards are the types of players that, you know, that they're always grinding in Fortnite 24-7. All they want to do is become the next clicks or Benji Fishy. No matter how good they are at the game, they'll always have a huge ego, even if they're only half decent. These are the kinds of players who always want to play against people who are worse than themselves and always want to team up with people who are better than themselves. These players will also spend thousands of dollars in their gaming setup, but then never end up making it back. If you're wondering why people call each other sweaty, it's because of these types of players. Like, I mean, you know, they probably get more exercise out of, you know, cranking 90s and overbuilding because of how much they sweat doing it than even if they were to go to the gym. These types of players are also the sort of people who will secretly look up to the naturally good players, all while acting like they're on the same level as them, or the people that actually put the time into practicing instead of just doing whatever is easiest. So if you feel like you match the try hard role, please work on trying to balance your life with Fortnite, man. And just try dropping your ego, humble yourself a little bit. You know what I mean? Never bring down others and just really work on improving the correct way rather than wasting your time. Because when you are humble, that's actually when you start becoming better. Let me ask you this. Like if you feel like you fit into like one of the player types that we've spoken about so far and you want to learn how to play better instead of falling into the same old patterns and routines, then ProGuys.com might be the perfect place for you. You know, we've got a team of incredible pro coaches who are ready and waiting 24-7 to really help you improve fast. You're like, they will play with you in your games and then give you customized one-on-one -on -one feedback and so you know exactly how and why and what went wrong. And then you can improve fast. It's the best way to really improve and, you know, all you need to do is get started is to click the link in the top right. Next up is the player who really just keeps on building until they're out of mats but never even thinks of just shooting his enemy. These sorts of people are casual players but really look up to a lot of creators warriors like Faceway. They spend way too much time learning new retakes, making their edits faster, and improving their movement that they forget the basic fundamentals of Fortnite. If you've ever played, you know, a creative field before, chances are you've seen one of these players. They will just keep on building and honestly protect themselves very well, but can't seem to hit a single shot. Their sensitivities are extremely high and they barely manage to kill the other players. They're just always somehow staying alive, but never manage to really clutch up for their team. Their mechanics are really good, but their game sense and aim are not really up to par. The average creative warrior is really good at getting high ground in zone wars and is usually on zero ping. The most annoying thing about creative warriors is definitely how they play and the fact that they are the best defensive players in the world. You know, creative warriors always run away when they need to and are not really good at maintaining height. With just more in-game practice, they can use their Forrest Gump tactics and play very, very defensively in placement-based format. All right, so if some of these players like practice more, they actually could have a great shot at placing in solos. And so if you feel like you're drifting towards being a full-on creative warrior, lower your sensitivity, play some arena, and watch some pro guys videos to help you guys even more. The next type of player is definitely what makes up 80% of the Fortnite player base and is what makes, you know, Fortnite as a whole. 
Like the casual players are the only reason Fortnite is still growing at such a fast rate, and these players help contribute to competitive prize pools without even playing competitively. Like the casual players enjoy party royale, squad fills, and other fun LTMs that come and go. They never really get seriously mad at the game, but are usually younger and a little immature at times and might have a little pop off. The casual players spend hundreds of dollars on V-Bucks and support Fortnite tremendously. They also are the main reason that Fortnite content still gets so many monthly views on both YouTube, TikTok, and Twitch. You know, we know a lot of you guys that are watching out there are casual players, and you know what? Props to you, for sure. Like, you are what balances the game from the sweaty side really to the fun side. So, hey, keep doing what you're doing. I'm glad you're having fun, because when you're having fun, I'm having fun, because we love to play this game, right? Bunch of course, Army. Okay, it's time for the question of the day. All right, today, we want to know what type of Fortnite player you are. You know, are you naturally good at it? You know, do you sweat it out in creative, or are you just like a serious tryhard? Let us know in the comments below, because we're going to check out every single one of them. All right, back to the video. All right, so there's one thing in every game that everybody hates, and that is a camper. You know, campers never try to actually improve their skill and just really hide the entire game. With Fortnite competitive being mostly about placement, camping has evolved into a completely different mechanic. You know, no matter what game mode you play, man, like you will always find at least one guy hiding in a bush somewhere, just hoping that he can somehow survive for some extra arena points. They will always sit at the edge of the zone and always land at the outskirts of the map. They always fish so they can just be stacked on, you know, white heels and never have to worry about dying the storm. Although this is the best way to be consistent and win all your games, these players will always be stuck on the same skill level their entire life. Lives. Their big brains, to be honest, are just kind of useless in fights. But their positioning skills are amazing. And so the flopper player of the trio will always be a really good IGO just because of the way they know how to rotate and stay on the dead side. These players barely have to fight because of this and always end up placing second. You may think campers are very easy to kill and they have absolutely no idea what they're doing in certain situations. And yeah, I guess that is true. But recently, a trio has taken over the world and has shocked every single pro player. The trio of Curie has literally qualified for the EU FNCS finals just by camping in the storm for the entire game. You may think carrying eight floppers and sitting in the storm during an end game is annoying, but these guys, <laughs> yo, they took it to the next level. And so by landing on the absolute outskirts of Slurpee and Stealthy, like these guys finished their way into the FNCS finals and heat. Who knows? In the future week, you know, they could even qualify for grand finals. These players use their exceptional knowledge of the map and really practice the best heal off route in the game. They spend so much time fishing and healing that they know exactly what to do, you know, to literally just sit in a storm the entire game and actually win. Bunch of corn stormy, okay guys, those are all the five types of players that can be found in the Fortnite community. Did you see yourself in one of these, you know, archetypes or do you think you're more of a mix? You know, each of these player types has its own pros and cons. So if you feel like one of them is now you, then you know everything you need to do to improve yourself. All right guys, if you guys wanna keep on improving, you can always check out the rest of our channel for for more tips and more tricks. If you guys like the video, hey, you already know what to do. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to connect with me on my Instagram, I'm right here at Your Motivation Guy. I'm so proud of you guys. Never give up, never surrender, okay? I'll see you on the next one.